Neil, uh, bitterly disappointing to uh, be denied a victory with the last kick of the game, virtually. Yeah, but it's the third time it's happened, and um, this one was a scrappy goal to get a deflection off a pass, and I think he scuffs a shot, really, you know, but I think it can be avoided. And, you know, with 30 seconds to go, it would have been a great win because we were absolutely fantastic tonight, and we were playing against 12 men. Or 14, because the referee was a disgrace. And I have to be careful what I say, Phil, but you know, it's our jobs on the line sometimes. And to see a performance like that is galling. The tackle on, on Zach is a free kick, he doesn't give it. Kevin McNaughton gets whacked on the leg right in front of the linesman, he doesn't give it. Yeah, it's. Um... I, I mean, people complain about the standard referee in the Premiership. Well, it's night and day compared to some of the performances I've seen. And, you know, our fans are pretty, you know, easy-going fans. You know, they, they like good football. They respect the game, and they've entered the frustrations tonight. And you could, you could see how bad his performance was when that happens. Yeah, it has a, it has a real impact upon the uh, the flow of the game, doesn't it? And and the injuries in particular in the first half really disrupted you, didn't they? Well, yeah. I mean, I had to make three changes before half time. I couldn't make a change later on in the game when really you made have wanted to shut up shop. Maybe the injuries are unfortunate, but you know, if you'd have got a grip of the game earlier, then it may have been avoided. I don't know, but um, we're just having a horrendous run of injuries. Um, it's really hard to explain. You know, when, when we get injuries, we get bad ones. Zach's dislocated a shoulder. It could be out for the season, which is a hammer blow for him and us. So we may have to look at the loan market again and. Um, Try and bring more in, but we've got seven loans at the minute, and we can only use five in the squad. So we're just getting down to the bare bones. We need to get some bodies back and quickly, and some senior players as well. In your time as a manager, can you recall a period when you've uh, had such ill fortune with injuries? No, I mean I've got nine out, you know, and I don't know how many this adds to it. You know, it's constantly we've got nine players out every week or every game, and you can't consistently pick the team that you like because there's a lot of them are sitting in the treatment room. So my physios are going to be working overtime again. Bless them. You know they've they've really earned a corn this season. Given the uh, the injuries and obviously the disruption that causes, you must be pleased with the the attitude and the way you kept going. And uh, and as I say, ultimately you're disappointed that with it with a draw. Yeah, we were brilliant. Football was sensational. Janko, uh, Mills, Vela, Bannon, Tim Ream. Every one of them there was a plus mark. You know I can't. Maybe we could have seen the game out, you know, maybe get another goal. But we certainly didn't deserve to drop points because we were miles ahead in terms of quality, pace, application. So I, as a manager, I can take a lot from that. We actually played better tonight than we did at the weekend, you know. So, you know, two back-to-back wins would have been great. But we, we need to shut the door. You know, we've, we've definitely got a, a lack of concentration. Um, and it's cost us five points in the last month, which would have seen us in a far more comfortable position. And the goal itself, a uh, lovely turn by Adam and, and a good finish by Ida. Yeah, I mean, Alfie did brilliantly and um, great run by Ida. And he played very well when he came on, you know, real team player tonight as well and deserved his goal. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of good things to talk about, Phil, you know, but again, it's like the Watford game, you know, a lot of good things to talk about. And then we're talking about a last minute goal and this is the same tonight, but they've got to learn. You know, it's, it's difficult for me, you know, you're powerless sometimes, you're just thinking we're comfortable, see it out, and they get a goal out of nothing. But at 1-0, there's always that risk.